Broncos uh, rallying late in the game. How are you guys able to hold them off? Um, you know, we just stuck to our game plan. You know, they weren't doing anything we hadn't prepared for. So, I mean, you know, we just stuck to our game plan, you know, did our assignments and, you know, just kept grinding out there. So, I mean, what exactly was that game plan about, uh, you know, covering uh, Nate Meyer? Um, well, you know, we had to stop and run and, you know, in 12 personnel. We knew they were going to run the ball on us, but, you know, we stopped a little bit early, then they got a little bit more momentum going in the game. So they were running at us. But, you know, we were just, you know, trying to get pressure on the quarterback all day, you know, trying to make him uncomfortable in the pocket, get him to throw the ball away quick. So take me through that uh, pick six you had to open the second half there. <laughs> well, uh, it was great coverage by our outside linebacker, Martin Horniak. He made a good play, and it just kind of bounced right to me, and I just, you know, I had a line of guys right to the end zone. So, so. that was the first touchdown you ever scored? Yep, and, yeah, in my college career. In your college career, how did yep. that feel? It was, it was awesome, you know, especially coming out of half. You know, we were up right away as a defense. We wanted to set the tone for the second half. So, you know, to come out and make a big play like that and, you know, spark us on, on defense and the rest of the team was, you know, it was huge. So record-setting crowd, I mean, beautiful weather. How, how big, uh, I mean, how memorable will this be for you? Oh, this will go down in the books for sure. One of the best, you know, homecoming, Milwaukee Stadium packed, you know, playing St. Cloud, our biggest rival, there's nothing better. So the so feeling's pretty good? Oh, yeah, it's, you know, I, I'm still soaking it all in. You know, it's going to be a great night with everyone. You know, it's, it's been a lot of fun out here. So yeah, throwing a lot of deep balls today. Was that was that part of the game plan going into it? Oh yeah, we had some different calls like that and stuff like that. I mean, teams are sometimes game plan for us for our run game, so their safeties are, are down and um, really in run support. So we do a little play action, get over the top of them, uh, and our wideouts made a lot of great plays today. I put the ball in the air, and the coverage was all over them, but our wideouts just came down with it. So very good. So you guys had to get that first down there late in the game. I mean, just overall in that drive, you know, with when. You know, I mean, what, what were you telling your teammates to keep them focused? Uh, I said, you know, that we already have two losses this season. To keep going and have a chance at playoffs this year, we got to get a first down here. And uh, on that second or third down, I ran outside zone to the right. Mm -hmm. I thought I was five yards past the first down, so I slid. But I ended up being short a couple times there. And fourth down came, and we just kind of made a heads-up play. We saw they had too many men on the field, and our center was alert enough and sap snapped it and got the job done. So, uh, you know, you guys had the bulk of your rushing in the, in the second half. I mean, were there any adjustments you made at halftime? We did make a few adjustments. Uh, I feel like I didn't do a great job adjusting personally. Uh, I got to, you know, with the calls we had, I got to get the guys in the right spot so they were able to do their job. So with some big plays on uh, special teams and defense, I mean, how much of a team win was this? There's three facets to the game, offense, defense, and special teams. And I think our special teams played absolutely phenomenal today and made huge plays, which ended up being the difference maker in this game. Besides a uh, late rally from SCS, you, I mean, could this could this uh, homecoming game have gone any better for you guys? It was close. It helped. Uh, I mean, the fans like a close game like that. Um, but uh, you know, a win's a win. So uh, homecoming win against a huge rival like this is always something. Uh, coach came up to me after the game and he says it doesn't matter how you get it done if you get it done. Awesome. So with uh, that late rally, um, I mean, how are you guys able to hold them off in the end there? Well, you know, I, our defense came up with a big stop. We had our you know our backs to the wall a little bit there in the fourth quarter. We lost momentum of the game. Certainly the, the interception by Drew when we had an opportunity to close the game out hurt. St. Cloud comes back and, and scores on us, puts our back against the wall and defensively we made a tremendous stop there in fourth down and you know offensively we were, were fortunate to be able to close that game out. So from uh, from Breeze's 35 yard uh, fake punt to uh, you know an early turnover, I mean how, how big were the special teams today? Yeah absolutely you know and our kick return unit had been struggling in the past that was a little bit of a spark plug for us today. James Conner did a good job. Justin Folks did a good job on that, getting us field position all day offensively. You know, certainly the fake punt was a big play for us, but we weren't able to capitalize on that. So, um, you know, sometimes when you make big plays like that, you need to take advantage of it and put the ball in the end zone. We weren't able to do that, but happy that our effort guys stepped up and, and made enough plays to win. So, uh, I mean, Breeze from you know being a being a kicker and a punter to now now a rusher. I mean, I mean, how big of a of an asset he is to see your team. Uh, Andrew Breeze has been a you know a dual threat as a punter for us the last few years, and you know last year when we put him in, we were faking the faking the punt this year he's our punter so it's hard to hard to key on him so we had that punt fake queued up the last five games we just weren't able to call it we didn't have the right situation the right look and you know as soon as we had it regardless of the situation we felt good about it and you know coach Bauer's done a good job executing and, and making sure guys are in the right spot so largest crowd ever at Miloski I mean how much did this homecoming atmosphere uh, pump you guys up it meant a lot you know uh, for a three and two football team to, to break a record in attendance means a lot you know for for our football team and honestly, our hats are off to our community. They've been a tremendous support. Our alumni have been tremendous supporters here all week as well. And you know, we're we're heading things in the right direction. And you know, we're excited to head into Mary. 
So with uh, with Lauders out, it seemed like you guys were throwing the ball a little bit more, and uh, your receivers were coming up with some some big catches. I mean, do you, do you like how that group stepped up? Yeah, you know, Nate Ritchie and Dominic Bonner made two really big catches. Bo Bofferty continues to to be a threat for us, but offensively, you know, we probably needed to throw the ball a little bit better today than we did. Um, and you know, continuing to be able to rush with Darren Walker and Jemiah Newell, those guys are going to need to take a little brunt of the load here in the future. Hopefully, we can get Darren back here in the next or uh, Logan back in the next couple weeks. So, I mean, you know, with just a couple weeks left, how, how big of a win was this for you guys? Huge. You know, this is uh, one of our biggest rivals. St. Cloud State game generally is going to be like this. It's going to come down to last play and last possession. And again, happy with our guys' effort.